this is a saga of problems that I've had with an ER32 collet chuck fitted to a pre-machined back plate which just needed a register turning. The first one I had to send back because it was grossly inaccurate. I received a replacement and returned the first one and the second one I carefully made sure that the back plate was as accurately made as possible including grinding. This is the setup I'm using for um, grinding the back plate to make sure the back plate is absolutely seated as flat as it can be and that the registers ground flat to the right diameter as well. I've got a diamond um, very fine grinding wheel, uh, composite grinding wheel on here and uh, I'll feed it in in here like that and crossways in to uh, <coughs> grind it in um, and then I'll check with the dial indicator after that's done to see how accurate we are. Let's finish the grinding and um, <clears throat> if I just lift this up I should be able to see very nice shiny ground marks with the grinding coming off at an angle beautifully smooth 
So that should be pretty good. Okay, I set up the dial gauge now on, and I fitted the um, collet chuck onto the back plate which is ground to within um, point one. 0.01, beg your pardon, and this is point oh four out on the outside here, which is really frustrating. That seems to be register on the on the chuck is out by point oh four. Uh, that's the second of these that was not right. Right, I'll check the internal taper and just see, I am expect that will be out by the same amount. Right, I've got the taper and set up with a dial indicator and it's out by 0 0.04, 0 0.045 actually, hmm, very close to 0 0.5, 0 0.05. That is very frustrating absolutely no idea why the Chinese who make these things can't get them set up properly so that they're accurate. It just is so frustrating. So I've had four ER32 chucks of various types that have not been any good and um, I've corrected one, I've swapped one and one uh, which um, was a, a sober chuck was so bad I couldn't do anything with it at all. It was just all the surfaces were way out and that even the size of the nut was wrong. Um, but this is just, it's close to being there but just not good enough. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll regrind the internal taper rather than send it back again. <sighs> Now I'll take this apart just so you can see what it looks like inside. Undo the screws at the back. can see inside here this is as uh, it was delivered I haven't done any machining to this apart from drilling the holes from the outside there's just enough depth of 7.3 millimeters between this surface and this surface which is enough to get a six millimeter screw in and it's a flat face screw that I put in so that it fits onto the register without marking it too much um, and that's all there is to it, that's all that set true chucks do. This is a standard machined back plate that I bought. Uh, it's got a thread for um, a Boxford lathe and the only part I had to machine away was this section here. So that's seven millimeters in there and um, that's all there is to this. Uh, it's quite tough steel, this to machine, but um, that's a small price to pay. I did mark this up with a particular way round with dots as I always do, but actually probably no need really, uh, because it's... Oh, one thing I might mention, uh, the register on the inside is half a millimetre to allow for movement. 
and the screws are a little bit um, slack in the holes. I think I was um, half a millimetre oversize. That, all of that seemed to work out okay. And I don't know why an enterprising company doesn't actually make them like this because they could charge a whole lot more money um, and provide something a lot more useful. And when, the, when this is tr put into the um, lathe spindle I just slack those off slightly and tighten them up in the lathe itself after having adjusted the set screws. Very simple job. Okay, I'm ready to screw the chuck back on and I'll just show you the procedure that I used to um, get it lined up. It is show you in a second it's completely loose it's not I haven't preset it so I set the dial gauge up on here Took a little while, but that's got the needle there absolutely spot on, and uh, it's not moving at all. So all that remains is to tighten up the back plate screws, and hope that that doesn't knock it out of adjustment. So I'll do a little bit at a time. Spin the lathe over and just see. The needle's hardly moving, so that's as accurate as I could ever get it. Taking me a little while, but um, it's a matter of getting the adjustment of the tightness of these bolts while you set the set screws. But that's pretty good. Now the interesting thing to do would be to take this off and put it back on again and see how concentric it is. Let's just try that, because I haven't done that yet. Which 
sure there's nothing on the back. How do you believe it? That's still accurate. So I can take it off and put it back on again and it's repeatable. So at the end of a very successful exercise after having had such terrible trouble with the machine components. But that's a neat way of getting repeatability and being able to change it um, if it does get out true. I'm yeah, pleased with that. Finally, an ER32 collet chuck that works well for me.